All right, let's get it rocking. Today, it says 50 Cent sends J. Cole an urgent message after Kendrick Lamar apology. It doesn't matter whose side he's picking. What matters is what God says. Yo, let's get it. Exodus chapter 12, starting at the 30th. And Pharaoh rose in the night. He and all his servants and all the Egyptians and Flair was a great city in Egypt. For there was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, rise up and get you forth from among my people, both ye and the children of Israel and go serve the Lord as ye have said. Also take ye your flocks and your herds as ye have said and be gone and bless me also. And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in the haste for they said, we be all dead men. <laughs> These, what do I keep saying? These dudes are dead. I just caught somebody blaspheming my God, trying to put up a crucifix. That's called vain glory, vain worship. They're going to die for real. You just mark your death, period. I didn't even notice it. I was just looking. I'm like, what's that? And then I started laughing because my God's alive in the sky. The same God they think is dead is in the sky right now, ready to kill them at any given moment. I'm telling you, these dudes are wicked and they're dead, for, but they're living dead. Yo, by night, they're living dead. Yo, let's go. God is the real savage. God. God is the real savage. God. Cowards. God. God. God is the real savage. God. Let's go. They're dead. By scripture. Let's get it. And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste. For they said... We be all dead then, dead men. We be all dead men. And the people took their dough before it was leavened, and their needing thoughts being round, bound up in their clothes upon their shoulder. And the children of Israel, and according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold, Egyptians, so that they went forth unto them such such things they re require and they spoiled the egyptians and the children of israel journeyed from ramses to so to to see us to see us off, um about god and foot that were men beside children and a mixed multitude went up also with him in flocks and herds, even very much cattle right there. What are we to God? We're cattle. We're cattle to him. Therefore, he leads us. They were carrying, they were leading the cattle. Next thing, what'd he do? He led them to their death because he, <laughs> because they're wicked. They're, they do vain worship, idols, the same way people put up statues and stuff. I listen, my crucifix broke. And if I still had it, I probably would wear it here and there. But the ultimate thing is you don't need a crucifix to be with Jesus. It's in your heart. It's in your spirit. It's in your mind. That doesn't mean nothing. People got symbols, all that stuff. They're going to die by their symbol. God's going to kill them on the set. They're going to die by their symbols and signs that they think they're looking for. No, don't look for a symbol sign. Eclipse. Guys, look for an eclipse. Don't look for none of that. Look to find Jesus Christ, period. Don't look for no sign. Stand on Jesus. Stand on business for God, period. Let's go. Daniel chapter 3, starting at the 19th. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one-seventh times more than, than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded they, the most mighty men that were in his army and bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats their hosen and their hats and <laughs> their hats and other and other garments and were also cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that look up 
<laughs> they they died trying to throw them in the furnace. That's what God's going to do to your enemies, my enemies. They're going to die trying to be wicked. Remember I said they put the crucifix up? They just did vainglory, uh, idol worship. God hates that. They're going to die trying to be ignorant to me. He, they're going to die, literally. Death is going to come of them trying to do stuff to me. He's going to just kill them, and I'm going to be laughing. That's how it works. Die. I keep saying die because they're wicked. Oh, man. <laughs> Exceedingly hot. The flame of the fire slew those men that look up. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fire furnace, and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound <laughs> into the midst of the fire? <laughs> they answered and said unto the king, Yea. True, O king, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is as like the son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, he's talking in the furnace. He just bound him and threw him in. Why are you trying to talk to me? You just did wickedness to me. Why are you trying to talk to me? Because he knows he's scared. He's terrified because he knows what's coming next. Death, death, death is coming. That's why he's scared. He's talking to the same dudes he tied up. Hey, 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 Shadrach, like he's their friend. Hey, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, like a coward came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the most, yo, this coward. Sir, oh, now he, wants to, now he wants to give him the proper title. Oh, servants of the most high God. Hey, <laughs> hey, you type guys. Now they know what to say. They're cowards till they're in danger of death. Now they know how to talk. Die. Don't talk nice. Die. That's what it means. Die. Okay? And, that's, and it's coming. And this same chapter is coming is death. Never and oh man, I got something else to tell y'all. And Spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth uh, out of the midst of the fire with no hurt, walking with nothing wrong with them. Remember, they made it seven times hotter. It was hot, but it's seven times hotter, like the flames of hell. And it burnt up the men trying to throw them in. Same thing it's going to do to your enemies, my enemies. They're going to burn to death. They're going to die. They're going to die and burn in hell. What do I tell them? Burn, 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 burn. Don't, don't be, don't have no peace. Burn, period. Burn, cowards, burn in hell. Punks, burn. Just burn up and die in hell. Go to hell and die and burn. Coward, they're cowards. Burn, 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 burn. That's how real it is. Burn, burn. Why you scream in pain? Burn. That's all we're gonna scream. Burn, burn, you loser. Burn. That's all we scream because they're cowards, not worthless cowards. Let's go. <laughs> all praise the most high God. All praise his holy name. Die, worthless worms. All praise the holy God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He's with me. He's with me for real. You'll die. Let's go. Leviticus chapter 5, starting at the 13. And the priest shall make an atonement for him as touching his sin, that he had sinned in one of these, and it shall be forgiven him. And the remnant shall be the priest as a meat offering. And the Lord spake. Unto Moses saying, if a soul commit a trespass in sin through ignorance and the holy things of the Lord, then he shall bring for their trespass unto the Lord when he shall bring for his trespass unto the Lord a ram without blemish out of the flocks with with this with the this time this, with this estimation by shekels of silver. After the shekel of the saint sanctuary for a trespass offering, and he shall make amends for the charm that he hath done in the holy things, and shall add the fifth part hereunto, and give it unto the priest. And the priest shall make 
on the atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering and it shall be forgiven him and if a soul sin and commit any of these things which are forbidden to be done by the commandments of the lord throughout through the risk it not yet is is that be guilt he guilty and shall bear his iniquity and shall bring a ram without blemish out of the flock with thy estimation for trespass offering unto the priest and the priest shall be forgiven him for a trespass offering unto the i mean trespass offering he had certainty trespassed against the lord right there yo get this 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 one's happy you don't even understand think of what the catholic church is doing they do not have people do this they they act like they have the power to forgive you. They're mocking God. So in the Catholic Church, they mock God. A priest doesn't forgive the sin. The Lord forgives the sin, and they take the offering to give to the Lord and present it to him in prayer. What trespass offering is given to these Catholic priests? None. They have no trespass offering. They say, you're forgiven, like they're God. They can't do that. You got to find God, Jesus Christ. You can't be forgiven by a priest. That's why they're wicked. They're mocking God. Every time you go to Catholic church, Catholic mass, they mock God. If they say, you're forgiven, my son, it's mocking God every time. They're condemning you to hell. Literally, them doing that is sending people to hell because they're trying to play God because they're not gods for real. Only Jesus Christ, God, can forgive you. No other person through his sacrifice on the cross. We're forgiven because that time has changed. No more do we bring uh, an offering without blemish. How hard is that? Look, they've been trying to find a cow without blemish over there in Israel for years and decades without blemish. Do you know how serious that is? They don't do that. So therefore, they're going against the word of God. So their mockery is satanic, as well as these people who mock God, who mock what we do, who stand against us. They're satanic. You stand against Satan. Satan's weak, a defeated foe. Revelation 9. He already died and lost. He already lost. They're here tricking these idiots who can't find God right there. I'm telling you right now. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. And if you are Catholic, change up your mind and read this book so you can think. Think clearly because you can't do this anymore. You're doing this in Leviticus, what I just read. You're doing this and you can't. You can't bring a sacrifice without blemish. You can't find it. They can't even find it over there. So therefore, they can't forgive you of your sins. They're not a priest for real. They're faking with you. They can't say, oh, you are forgiven. They don't have the power. Jesus Christ has the power. Only through Jesus can you do it. Only through the almighty God can it be done. What did I say? Through man, it is impossible. But through God, all things are possible. All of it goes together. Lose your head. You're an adult. Listen to me. Everything reads together. You can go check the chapters and the verses that I speak. I tell you them. You guys can look and see it for yourself. These guys are wicked. These people doing wickedness against you like they do against me, they're wicked. They're all going to die and burn in hell. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they don't have that God. I got that God. The God of him, I got him. He's with me, nigga. He's with me. He's with me right now. Who wants war? I keep saying, who wants war? Who wants war for real? I'll, I'll get you killed. I'll, I'll curse you. I'll send you to the pits of hell. Get you hogtied and thrown in hell. I'll throw you in the midst of the fire with all of your belongings. With anything you love, I'll get it sent to hell. All of it. That's what I said. Next thing, somebody tests me. They're going to hell with everything they love. You go to hell with it. I send you all to hell, cowards. I'll curse you all to hell. You'll die in your sleep. You'll die while you are. I'll make your heart stop randomly. You'll just fall down. And people's like, what happened? I'll be like, he's dead. That's what happened. Dead. I ain't got to do a thing. They're going to be looking at you. Doctors going to be like, Where, what happened to him? I don't know. Doctors won't be able to figure out. Because my God is the same God as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel chapter 3. Those same God that walked him through the midst of the fiery furnace. What you going to do? Nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. My God walked through the furnace. You guys going to burn in hell. You're going to burn. You guys are going to, your skin's going to fall off, be peeling off. You're going to be screaming, begging, like, Lord, Lord, you're going to die, cowards, mocking God, all of you who mock my God, you're dead, right now, you're dead, okay, die, you're dead, mock my God, I'll curse you, you'll die so heinously, you won't know what happened to you, it will twist your hat back, you'll be a meme on the, you know, on the freaking news, on the freaking net, you'll be a meme, 
and death with your skin hanging because you burnt up in hell. I'll make it so. Play with my God. We're here. We're right. And we're ready. Who wants problems? Nobody. You're going to act nice. You're going to do everything because we'll curse you to the pits of hell. Stop playing with me. These guys are so wicked that they got to go. They're evil. They do evil all the time. They're wickedness. They are the very embodiment of Satan. You're Satan worshiper. Satan. Satan, you're dead. Revelation 9, you're dead. Go. You're dead. Bye. Dead nigga. Dead nigga. Satan. Lucifer, you're a dead nigga. Dead nigga. Dead. 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 Say something. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Dead nigga. Oh, praise the most high God. Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Be ready or die. Jesus Christ is ready for war. Jesus Christ is the optimo. None above him. None can see him. None can live without him. Stop breathing my God's air right now. Stop breathing it. All praise the most high God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ.